hello everyone welcome to my channel so today we are going to be doing a victorian corset and it's really cat and dog here so i decided to do a voice over this beginning part so I, um I, there's a chart here i left here for you to see what a cos your corset size should look like then also this is a pattern for a corset to show what a corset actually should the pattern should look like so um but then if you notice from this corset victorian corset here one the back the bust area doesn't curve over the bust and the back is lifted the reason for that is that because of the tight fit of the corset the back is usually going to be a bit bumpy so the back is lifted in order to aid in keeping that bumpy part of the back in check then the bust area it if you notice it doesn't really curve like our bustier does instead it just flows over the bust because the corset if you notice is supposed to reduce your bust your waist and your hip measurement so if it lifts up your bust when it reduces it it pushes up your cleavage and your cleavage fills the corset that top part of the corset that is usually not um curved on that bust as we would usually do so here what i have done is that i've gotten the um on that bust measurement which is usually one inch then also of course the above like i said it doesn't go over the bust but here because of decency reasons we use do it over the bust so two inch from your bust point mark two inch down that part there you're supposed to give instead of half inch for your sewing allowance you give three quarter then you take down just your bust measurement for the under bust and the waist measurements you add two inches for the darts then the hip you take only the measurement only down divide your side panels into two equal parts and the dart should start from the top of the corset that is you should spread the dart but because i had already taken away two inches under the bust i decided to just leave it like that From the bust, you are supposed to deduct half inch, but because I did not want a distorted um, shape for this panel, I left it to take one inch away from the back panel. So with this additional dart on the side panel, I have reduced the waist measurement. Now for the back, the bust measurement, you just do the bust measurement. Then remember to deduct the one inch from the bust measurement. Then the under bust, you put the full measurement only. The waist measurement, you deduct one inch. That's the one that you use for the dart, then the hip measurement just that. Then also remember from your center back, you deduct two inches. That's for the gap for our lacing. You understand? Now at the gap for the lace, you can decide to add a band or you can decide to start directly from the main outfit. Now the band can be of a different fabric, which just reduces the gap and also add acts as a design. Now for the hem, we'll just trace the front. Then because it's wider, we'll adjust it later. I just wanted to use this part to show you that for the back, if you are taking it up, all you need to use is the across back measurement. But to go with the times, so we'll just bring it down, but not lower than your bust level. Sorry about the plenty lines on the pattern. I just couldn't lay my hand on my other markers. So we'll just go ahead and cut our patterns. okay guys so this is i've cut out everything this is center front side front one side front two then the back i just decided to leave the back as two pieces but usually you could do that as three pieces then this is what i'm going to be using for the modesty panel then also one main big thing one thing i didn't show you guys in the video about how to fix your boning is that one of the ways you can fix your boning if your fabric because of course you can have single layer um corsets but then you also have the one that is lined now for the one that is lined you can actually create a boning channel by sewing your lining let's say when you join the pieces together then you can sew your lining and the outfit together thereby creating a boning channel whereby you just slip it through the one thing i have is the three eighths 
so if I will, I will need to double it i'll need to double it on like if it was a half inch one i'll confidently use it one one so i'll double it so i might have to use this the seam lines so it together beside the seam lines and use that as a boning channel so let me go and join everything together then i would come back okay so you can see now that i have joined all the panels together go for the front and the back so but what i wanted to do was what i intended to do was to use because if you notice like i mentioned before this boning is quite a thin one it's what i, I have quite a quantity of it around of, and i can't I have to make use of it so what i intend to do is i wanted to do the fold over method you understand so and i want to do double boning on each side so i'll just put it this way then use my zipper foot and sew beside the boning but like somewhere here like if you notice the victorian corsets you know they were not because when you look at it it's not usually just curves maybe it goes maybe an inch or two like i mentioned for over the your bust line so but this one now because of this and see reasons we have to curve it over so because of the one apart so because of that curve of course i have to notch it so this might actually be the only one where i might be using i might create a channel that i might have to use the bias to create a channel over it so i can slip the bony into it so that is so now one thing you have to know is that Irrespect, one of the reasons why we do most of this journey is that it's to be like a guide for our bony but you can also create bony channels on this so after like let's say for example this is my boss point i can create a bony channel here and create a bony channel here on it it doesn't necessarily have to be just on the this thing so what i need to do now so i'll go and put the bony so if you can see everywhere it's just open both the side seams you can't even tell which one is the side seam but not the side seam but when you look at it like this and of course the victorian corset the back not as much as this is basque though i didn't make it too sharp this is a basque waistline though it's not too sharp the back is not usually it's not a normal um it's not like a regular thing that the back will also be basque but i decided to do it that way also so I will just put the bony. So no matter, I'll do the fold over method like I showed you in our video. So you can check the link to see the different ways you can insert your bony. I'll do the fold over method. Use my zipper foot and sew it. I'll put one bony on this side and another one on this side. No, not usually the fold. Pushing the bony inside, not externally. So I will do it and then. So I will not do it. Then for the um hem at the top of the corset i do not intend to turn it i will be using um i'll be turn i'll just use bias binding on it for the top and the bottom of it i'm not going to turn it i don't turn it so usually most of the time corsets were not turned like that but if you want to turn it to the normal way the way we do it now for victoria corsets most of them if you notice they always had this trim appliques and trimmings at the edge then the down was just bound you understand with bias or any bias strips or any other material that they could use so i will go and insert the boning and bring it back because i will insert the boning then i would put um the panel for i'll be doing groups yeah the lacing is going to be loose. I'm not going to be using eyelets. I'll just use it. Then, so I can create a channel for this one also. Unless I forget. So, remember that there's supposed to be at this end. Because this is the end where we're going to put the loops or the eyelet. There has to be a bone in there also. But this one, I'll just do single bone. Because I'll do at this end and at this end then immediately after the loop also i'm going to do so that is to ensure that you don't have contours or folds so i've put all the bony into it if 
notice like some places like here 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 they are double bony like i showed you guys the bony i had so i had this um half inch one so that's what i use for the bra side this places so but normally heat can even if it's doing this as per coming up because it was rolled heat can always <coughs> straighten it out and then the more you wear one thing that we know about corset and the bony is that when you wear it after a while it now takes on your you understand it takes on your shape so this one now by the time is worn after a while to take on her shape but then of course when i'm ironing it i have to apply enough heat to it to get it to straighten out so i've put all the boning now what's left for me to do is to attach the this thing i'll attach the loops for the lacing because i'm going to do loops for the lacing then add bones i have just two more bony to do the one before and after the loops fun after the loop so those ones will be single single burning i think i'm going to leave a link i realize i haven't touched um done a tutorial on how to prepare your loops so what i would do i would leave a link i will look for one that i think is good then i will leave a link to that yep yeah, i'll leave a link to that so, so but for this one first of all i would all i need to do is just to put stay inside and sew it into a square so we are done with our corsets and remember there's no stay at the bust area so like i think shall measure to you but so there's bone if you look i don't know if you can see it there's bone here there's bone here so all i did like i told you guys i just joined it then i think the only place i would say i turned it was here when i was trying to add this band so if you look closely i don't know if you can see there's there's bone here there's bone here so the band is here so if it was like i put eyelets the eyelets should be here this middle part also so i just added this band to it then put the um loops then also then I just the top I didn't turn the top like I mentioned to you guys so all I just I just use bias to turn it but you know bias is kind of not this white so what I did I joined bias um like I made a, I got the measurement of this then I joined it in the middle use one side because one bias cannot just go around like this so I joined it in the middle and put it here then this one I attached the loops like i did it facing the main fabric then when i wanted to add this band that's when i now put this band on it and put the lining on it then i was able to turn everything together you understand but first of all i put the loop facing the front of the out the corset sewed it down then put while the loop was down i put this band on it Put the lining underneath it and sewed it together then i was able to turn it did the same thing on this side so if you look closely everywhere there's um boning everywhere see the sides this is a side seam there's boning like i told you i did double here single double single on the bust area this is the bust i did single this middle part double so boning like i said is both to give it structure and it can also be used for decorative purposes like the first one i showed you, you saw the way the boning was plenty on the distance so this is the way you actually do so this is the right side so like i told you for the um hip area it can you can also you might not necessarily want to open it you understand if you have no intentions of padding it you can leave it like that but it's just that it's going to be really tight because if you with the chart i showed you you can see that the corset reduces the waist the hip and the bust it, the whole idea is to give you a, a smaller upper body than a bigger so sometimes the victoria women are known to pad their the whole padding of the hip area even began with them sometimes so the underneath of this place let's say if the waist is here and if this place is wide all they do they just pad it then i intentionally um i intentionally made this a size bigger because 
of my size so i wanted to, at least i felt that with a bigger person you get to see the effect but what i have here like her waist is um 30 Three, about 33 and a half 34 but what i have here is like 31 yeah either between 30 and 31 that's what i have here so you'd have seen the effect more on her i felt you'd have seen the effect but unfortunately she's not here to wear it so that is it. so this is the rope i did the rope black also so this is the rope so all you just do loop it and tie it down here or you can do it and tie it in the middle you know there's where you do it do here you put it from here then put it from here also but you tie it then then you leave the space so you can tie it in the middle so is it that you tie it in the middle or you tie it down here so that is that for our Victorian corset so see you on the next video when I will be making my <laughs> thanks for watching bye